Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a horizontal parallax scrolling effect. So this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to scroll down so you see how the different elements move. See the rocket coming from downwards to upwards. Great. And I've also added these circles here that have anchor links. So it means that we can jump back here, jump back to the rocket, and it will keep the effect. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so let's get started. So let's go to Muse, and I have here my Muse file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate it. Okay, so as you see, uh, parallax scrolling needs a lot of length, so don't worry about that. So open your new file, and as I'm going to replicate this, I'm going to grab the colors, the same exact colors here. So I'm going to copy this for the browser fill and copy it here. Okay. I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to grab my files. Okay, so I've got my assets here, so I just have to drag them here and start clicking. Okay, so I'm going to arrange them. How big were these? Well, Four hundred sixty-six. Okay. So this planet was first. Then this. Then the rocket. Remember, you have there has to be lots of space in between the elements. So parallax scrolling needs a lot of space and you'll get a pretty huge page. Okay, don't worry, you're gonna make adjustment now. So first thing is, I'm gonna resize it, I'm gonna make this bigger. So first of all, I'm gonna set it into none, and I'm gonna resize this to, okay. So I'm gonna resize the rest of the elements. Alright, so next step is we're going to set each element to motion. So for this, we're going to click on the first element and we're going to open the scroll effects tab. Oh, sorry. This is a new file, so the um, this should be shouldn't be fluid with, okay? It has to be uh, has to be fixed. So you just can right click over the bar and then, you know, deselect this. So first thing we have the planet and we're going to click here in motion. So what I want this planet to do is, um, let me think, I want it to come from the top, so I'm going to set the speed to 1 and to 0. So the thing is that uh, the initial motion is the movement before it reaches to this point, 65 pixels. You'll know this point by this T-bar over here. Now 62 because I moved it. And final motion is what's going to happen with this element after it reaches to this point. So here it is. So I want it to come from up, go down, speed 1, and same thing here. 1 and set to 0. Going for the next one, just going to bring it a little bit down in just in case. And set it to motion. And I want this to come from the right and to go left. So this means I have to click on here. This is set to 0, 1, and this is like that. Okay, so I want it to have the same, yeah, 
in the same direction. So I want to preview this to see how it looks like. Okay. Well, actually, the rocket looks pretty good. I think I don't have, I don't have to set any motion to the to the rocket because I want it to come from you know from down to up, so you don't really need any motion there. But the telescope does, and the alien. Yeah, I think the alien does not need any, so it's looking pretty good. You might always need to preview and do adjustments. All right, so I think this is just a way a bit too up here, so. Let's see what happens now if I bring the T down. Okay. I actually want the T to be, I mean, the planet to be visible at first. Just way too up. Okay. So bring it down and rocket comes. Oh, these are too close. So this means they have to bring the rocket a bit down. Okay. Yep, pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to set motion to the telescope too. So I know that I'm going to bring this a little bit down. And I want this to come from the right to the left. And same thing over here. So let's preview this. Right from the top. Looking good, yep. Yep, looking pretty good. Okay, so we got it. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add the the, um, the circles over here and we're gonna add the, um, the the anchor links too. So I'm gonna use our ellipse tool here and I'm gonna create a circle. Wait, can't see it. Okay, I'm gonna Give it some, let's fill it with this color. Okay, so I'm going to get this to it's a pretty small circle. Okay, so we have five elements in this website. So I'm just going to have to copy these. Sorry. So I have five elements and I've created five circles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all and I'm going to pin it here to the left. So no matter how far down we are in this web page, you'll always see these points over here. So next thing is we're going to add anchor links. All right. So first anchor link is going to be up here. It's going to be called planet. Okay, so next for the rocks, 
Okay, so yeah, approximately over here. Let's go down to the rocket. We get the telescope. And last, our alien. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to match, we're going to link these small circles to two links. So first of it is planet, second is rocks, third is rocket, fourth is telescope, and last one is the alien. Okay, so I'm going to preview this now, and I'm going to make the adjustments. Okay, so, see I'm scrolling down, but I can see, you can see the circles over here. Okay, that's what I wanted. Great, so now let's go back to the top. Great, let's go down. Great. Okay. Okay, so now... If you want it, what you could do is, if you're not happy because maybe, you know, for example, the, the rocks are not centered enough and you want them like a bit down here, then what you have to do is you have to start moving your, your anchor links. So let's see again. Let's check it again. Okay, so you see it has moved a little bit. Okay, guys, so this is how you get a horizontal parallax scrolling effect. Hope you liked the video. If you have any comments or doubts, please comment this video. Thank you guys for watching.